The FGC is in shambles after Capcom announced their new CPT change to uh, the hitbox and leverless controllers when cleaning the inputs of SOCD. Now just what is SOCD and why is this a debate? Well, SOCD stands for Simultaneous Opposing Cardinal Directions. That means if you hold left and right at the same time, or if you hold up and down, there has to be a way for the game to, or to not, perform those inputs. The community standard for several years has been if left and right are held, the controller would send neutral, or nothing for left or right. However, if you input up and down at the same time, the controller would send up to the game. I won't go into the history or what this exactly means here, because I couldn't explain it as amazingly as uh, Brian F., whose video I will have linked in the description. Basically though, it allows for much quicker flash kick motions and other finicky advantages as a trade-off to other disadvantages like requiring more precise button work to get your intended directions. It's more easy to SPD when you can just spin the stick and more immediately understand motion than just rhythmically pressing and releasing buttons. Capcom has decided to implement the all-neutral SOCD system, meaning that left and right stay neutral, but up and down will also result in neutral. Of course, Brian can explain what this means once we're all done here. Now, why would Capcom want to change the SOCD register in the CPT from how the community has ruled it for so many years now? Maybe they're doing this to research if all neutral is their preferred way to go, since it empowers more characters and techniques than the current up-down model, uh, from my understanding. If many more characters have SOCD benefits other than the far smaller number of down-back charge enthusiasts, that changes the environment where, just like character balancing, some characters are left out of some techniques. This could be a good learning experience for developers and the community as a whole, to which uh, SOCD method is more fair for all players, whether they play on Hitbox or not. Just like uh, Street Fighter and fighting games in general, sometimes there needs to be a change every now and then to understand what components of a fighting game we want to keep and accept. Heck, Street Fighter 6 is a great example of this. The parry concept from Street Fighter 3, focus attacks and a separate super meter, as well as dash cancelling attacks from Street Fighter 4, B reversals and incorporating V trigger ideas from Street Fighter 5 all wrapped up into one cohesive mechanic that acts much differently to how they were in their home games. A change made based upon wanting to revisit new ideas from many previous years to fine-tune them for the future. I don't play on Hitbox and there's more dust on my D-pad than an old mansion, so I don't have an active dog in this fight but I can sit back and watch, and maybe throw down a bet or two, and see where new developments lead us. Keep in mind that this SOCD change isn't 100% permanent, and it won't just bolt itself firmly into Street Fighter VI CPT events for the next decade or so. This can change. This isn't the 90s anymore. If they find the all-neutral SOCD system is not healthy for the game, then they can patch the rules and the game back to up plus down equals up. Again though, this will be a great learning experience for the fighting game community as a whole. Every developer and every player who moderately cares about hitbox and pad with SOCD will witness what the all-neutral versus up-down debate actually means. I think I've rambled on long enough here, but I, I can't wait for Street Fighter 6 to come out and hopefully uh, us non-crackheads can get a beta this month, but uh, either way, let's just hope it gets here quick enough, and uh, yeah, that's about it.